Having a flashlight with you at all times just makes a lot of sense. But a lot of the flashlights intended for EDC or everyday carry can in some circumstances be too big and too awkward. And that's where small flashlights like the keychain variety can come in really handy. Like this A02 from the company Bryn Knight. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this small but very effective light, Keep watching. Before we get started, I just want to thank the company Bryn Knight for sending out the A02 keychain flashlight so that I can share it with you. So as always, what we'll do is we'll quickly get out of the tabletop. I'll go through the key features, the physical and performance specifications for this light. We'll do a little demonstrations and then I'll give you my thoughts on carrying it. Before we focus in on the light, let me just share with you what came with it. So this is the box that the A02 arrived in. Inside of the box, a couple of things, of course, manual and warranty information, USB Type-C charging cable, and there was also this clip that allows you to attach it to a keychain along with the little split ring. All right, let's just quickly go through the key features for this, and it's just this. It is small and simple. And that's what you want a lot of the times in a small flashlight for everyday carry is simplicity and availability, meaning it's with you at all times. Now, as far as the specifications go for this, overall length is 2.06 inches. It's only three quarters of an inch wide, and it's only 0.7 once of an inch in depth as well. Now, it comes in at 0.49 ounces. Yes, you heard me right half an ounce. That's all it is. It has an IP66 waterproof rating and an impact resistance of 1.5 meters. Now quickly, the performance specifications for this. It has three settings, a high, medium, and low. At high, you, you will get 125 lumens, which will last for 55 minutes. At medium, you'll get 30 lumens, which will last for 100 minutes. And at low, you'll get two lumens lasting for 1,320 minutes. There is also a strobe mode for this light. All right, just before we go through the operation of the A02, I thought I'd give you a few close-ups. So first, you can see where the LED is. Now, it does have an orange peel type reflector, and in the center of that is a small lens or focuser. So it does give you a bit of forward cast, but primarily this is a small floodlight intended for illuminating things in your immediate vicinity, not for reaching out to long distances. On this side is the on off switch. It is recessed, so you're not going to turn it on unintentionally in your pocket, but it is still accessible quite easily with your fingers. On the opposite side is the USB Type-C charging port, and right next to that is a small LED that glows red while it's charging and green when it's complete. Now you can see the split ring and clasp for attaching it to your keychain or maybe even to a zipper pull, whatever you want to do with it. I will note though, however, is that the battery is non-accessible. So if the flashlight does die in you someday, you're not gonna be able to replace the battery. Now the operation of this light is very simple. It's simply a matter of pressing the button on. And right now it's in the low mode of two lumens. If I touch it again, it goes up to median. If I touch it again, it goes up to high. And that is quite right. If I want to access the strobe, it's a double tap, either from on or off. There you go. All right. So like I said, very simple operation. All right. Let me just do a few demonstrations of this light right here in my house. All right, we're doing some recording for the Bryn Knight A02 keychain flashlight. And I am in my gear room in the basement of my house. It's the darkest room that I have right now. And I have the light on its lowest setting. Now, what the camera sees and what I see are slightly different. I'm getting a little bit more illumination than what the camera is showing up. But it's, you know, it's not, it's enough to keep from tripping over something, but it's not enough to, uh, how should I say, really illuminate the room. However, at medium, it's that's a different story. And yes, those are Blue Witty power stations at the back, if you were wondering there. Take it up to the next level. And each time I take the lumen setting up one, I see the camera compensating so it's not overly bright, but it is much brighter than even what the camera is showing. This is a bright little keychain flashlight. All right, a few closing thoughts for the Bryn Knight A02 keychain flashlight. So I've been carrying this light on my keychain now for about two months. I replaced the one that I had on there. Not so much that it wasn't working, it's just that, well, I needed to be able to test this one out. And this is a little bit smaller than the one I have, 
but it equally is bright, if not a little bit brighter. So I quite like the size of this light on my keychain. Now, I still carry other lights whenever I feel I have a need to, but knowing that I'm not always sure when I'm going to need a light, that's where the value of having something attached to your keychain really comes in handy. Now, as far as my thoughts on using it, I really like the simplicity of this. I can access it. It's not hard to find the button. You don't have to go searching for it. It's easy by tactile field. It's got to be on one of the two sides, so you're always going to be able to find the on-off button, of course. I like the little clasp, but honestly, this is not something I'm going to continue to use because I have found it can, in some circumstances, while the keys are in my pocket, the clasp can release itself and then it falls off into my pocket which is okay, but not if it drops onto the street or in my vehicle and I don't know where it is. So I am replacing that and just using a split ring. Now I do want to comment on the split ring that came with it as well. As you can see, it's small, it's thin, and I don't have a, a terrible lot of confidence in it. It hasn't failed me yet, but I think I'm going to replace the split ring with something just a little larger and that I have a little bit more confidence on. I might even use one of the mini S, -beater, S beaners from Night Eyes to attach it and then it has the locking function and I know it's going to stay where it is on my keychain. All right, so those are my thoughts carrying it and using it. Great little light. What I'll do, of course, is put the links to where you can take another look at this light in the video description along with all the specifications. If you have any comments or questions, Questions regarding the brand night A02, put those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path. Let's travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.